Warning, I'm smoking in this video. Alright, I watched um, the video video response by Spinal Fluid on Tap, who I've seen I've seen uh, their videos or their responses um, periodically among my other friends and I've just been getting around to checking out my friends' friends and seeing whether or not I might, you know, get along with them and, um, you know. Um, I watched this video uh, that Rage Underground posted uh, where he was pointing out some of these comments and I saw truther girls in there and I was just like oh this is getting ridiculous so um, let me just make this clear okay over two years ago the day that I joined YouTube April 20th 2007 I was so nervous because I was already really politically active in DC and I had moved back from Florida uh, in 2005 and I was starting to build up my my um, connections with people who were feeling the same way I was and I was really it took me a while to find the community on here that I could have have something in common with people and just a, a little bit in common was enough for me. We don't have to have everything in common, you know. I mean, there's some people, I have people, friends on YouTube that are atheists. I have friends that are Christians. But I happen to friend the Christian people that don't bludgeon you with their beliefs in religion and such. Um, and <clears throat> hopefully, you know, and I, I've known people that are I've on here that are atheists who have friends that are Christians, but they, they, they understand each other, you know. Now, getting to the meat of the bone, or the bone on the meat, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, um, this whole thing about there's there's about there's a handful of linchpins about 9/11, okay, uh, where if you pull the pin out, the whole thing falls. Uh, one of them is Building Seven. There's several facts about Building Seven, and there's several facts about Dick Cheney. Um, that day, several facts about George W. Bush, and um, there's several facts about uh, the pilots um, and the theories behind that. Now, those things, I, I believe, <clears throat> I think that particular day is something that if you have a strong, if you have a strong disagreement with the 9-11 Commission. If you don't believe the spoon-fed dribble, if you don't believe the nuclear waste that they've they've sludged up, you know, um, then you're a terrorist. Uh, and if you speak out against it, you're a terrorist. And I have been waiting for this for a long time. Uh, I think that just about all my friends here will agree with me. Um, look, I, I just, I just think it's fucked up, and I, I had to say, I had to just make a video about it. You know, it's, uh, it, and it, it makes me think about a lot of things that have happened to me in the past few years. That uh, you know, if I didn't feel the way I felt about what happened in 9-11 and if I hadn't lost a friend that day my life would be a lot different I probably would still believe what I believe about 9-11 if I hadn't lost a friend anyway brothers, sisters cohorts terrorists fellow terrorists uh, and also if you have not checked out Truth or Girls um, if I can I'll post a link there um, also Spinal Fluid on Tap um, I just subscribed to him. Uh, he's pretty interesting. And I also suggest you check out Vocal Brush. She's really good. I just made something about her that was just purely, you know, spur of the moment. But um, I hope everybody's well. And um, I guess uh, I guess I guess I better, you know, 
prepare. <clears throat> yes, yes, prepare. Prepare. <clears throat> prepare. Prepare. Oh, okay. I got my chapstick. Um, I got my impeachments. You can see that. But we need we need something for Obama. Uh, uh oh, that makes me a terrorist. I got. I know this is bad, but I got my Sumatran coffee. I know. I know the brand is not exactly good, but. Um, Oh. Last but not least, I've got my spoon. I can't find my towel. I know I should bring my towel. All right. I got my spoon. <laughs>